What is up everybody, Omar from Team Mercer and with another online tournament for you guys. Now it's been a while since I've actually made some videos guys, I've been extremely busy here lately and what I was not able to make any videos. Uh, so we're back at it again, uh, with this time with some online tournament we got going on in house for the team. Uh, from Team Mercer we're hosting, we usually try to host tournaments uh, online for our team members to get some practice going and you know give out some prizes as well. Uh, so today's opponent will be Justin. He is a phenomenal player on my team. He's been getting a lot of top eight placements at a lot of cups, and it's been doing tremendously well. Uh, before we get started, as well, I do have a few announcements. We are hosting our second team, our second Earthstream Circuit Series, on March the 21st, along with the VGC Circuit Series as well on March 20th. Uh, both events are going to be hosted at the Nexus Esport at Waco, Texas, and I do have flyers going around Facebook and a market. And if uh, you see them, you know, share them, tell your buddies about it. Uh, the trading card game for first place is guaranteed $400 for first place. And then second, third, and fourth, they get packs. Uh, juniors and seniors, they will receive packs, not cash payout, uh, just packs and other merch that we have. And for the VGC, it is going to be based in attendance on the uh, cash payout for one through third. And like I said, I have flyers going around right now. And uh, if you're interested, come on by. I believe we might. I think we are the only events in the surrounding areas for that day. And it is also a cup as well. So not only are you winning money, you're also winning championship points. Uh, so last time that we had it, it was a pretty good turnout uh, to see everybody. And of course, it will be streamed as well on my channel. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get started here, guys. Now, it has been a while since I've played. I've been actually streaming more than anything than playing. And so I will be somewhat rusty or actually a lot of rusty uh, going against my opponent here and like I said Justin has been playing phenomenally here uh, this past year he's been getting on the ball and doing extremely well so we're excited to go against him and see how we can fare up now I didn't even have any decks ready from the new sword and shield I I just kind of put together baby blounds because it's simple it's not really too expensive on packs from online uh, no we don't want to go first we'll go second and like I mentioned, it's been a while since we played, and I have no idea how to play the Sword and Shield variants right now. So, uh, like I said, we are playing... Oh, I think we chose the wrong deck here. Uh, yeah, we did. Okay, so we chose the wrong deck. We got actually uh, Big Daddy Persephone here. Okay, so we're going to go with it. We're going to have some fun here, guys. Uh, let's see if I built this decent. I think I kind of just threw it together. And uh, hope for the best, but the baby Persephalon, I think I just copied and pasted off the actual regional just happened or the special event uh, with a few changes. I think I added custom catchers instead of the acro bikes uh, because of all the, you know, switching around or either the goons as well. It, it really helps against the goons. All right, so Justin with Picaram on his side, uh, phenomenal Picaram player. I figured he would be playing Picaram actually. Uh, so off to the start, he definitely wants to get some energy to the discard pile, get that Tapu Koko out. Looks like he's going to have to Dedene or possibly put some more cards before Dedene. <clears throat> so let's see what we got going on. Uh, for our next game, we might hop on over to Baby Blounds since we're not having set rules. We can s actually switch decks around in between matches here, guys. Uh, this is all just training purposes, you know, to get to fill up some decks and get some ideas going uh, before hitting some cups. Uh, this weekend, we do have a few cups actually in San Antonio. Uh, to one of our, our newest added members to our team, Marty Reyes, uh, TO in San Antonio area. Give a big shout out to him if you're in the area and congratulate him for joining Team Earthstream. Uh, we feel like he is going to bring a lot of excitement to the team and a lot of good possibilities as well. So it looks like just energy attachment passes on over, was not able to get as many energies as you wanted into this card pile to use the full effect or anything else. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely a little different here. Okay, so let's get some peoples out. How many Persephone's we got going on? Okay. Like I said, we chose the wrong deck, so let's see what we can make this happen. I, I don't think I've actually played this deck at all. I kinda just threw it together just to have some fun. We don't want to professor research just yet. Let's still watch and see what we get off of here. Yeah, sure, we'll grab that. Uh, kind of, kind of good because we're gonna have to research to dump our hand and get some other 
some other stuff going on. So yeah, let's get a Persephone out so we can attach that beast energy. Uh, since we are going to need it to get some clean knockouts here, just to add an extra damage as well. And it looks like we are going to research throwing away the welders. Never, never fun. Uh, looks like, yeah, we're just going to place another third one. It never hurts to have an extra one. Uh, we have Persephone for next turn, Mysterious Treasure for Naganatal, and another research. So actually, we're pretty good. We're just going to pass one over and just wait to see what Justin has. I mean, it looks like he's off to a rough start here. I uh, already used three of his quick balls. He does run Electromagnetic Radar, or at least I'm assuming he does. Any uh, good Picarom deck is running that, along with the Oranguru ability here to switch one of his cards out. So he definitely wants to... Okay, well, we're just... I wonder if he's got... A custom catcher because that would hurt actually energy attachment somehow get another energy on there custom catcher or either just electro power I know he's in any electro power so he might be searching out something to get out of this hand that he's got going on since he did not have an explosive start and how did the DNA off the back now that's the thing with the uh, the new rules going first kind of kind of hurts a lot right here you're not able to use a supporter uh, but in Pika Rom you know that's not a problem since it's running the, the Dene's it's got a lot of momentum uh, for this pick deck. It's kind of crazy. I did not see it in top eight at the uh, international, which was actually it's got a, good, a lot of good fair matchups against a lot of things. Uh, the only thing that it struggles really against it would be goons for sure if they're not able to set up as quickly. And then AP, you know, Palkia and Space Dogs or whatever you want to call that deck. Saceon, it's it's a good matchup, but I, th I think it's 50 50. It just depends who gets it off going first. So off, he's finally got some energy. It looks like Raichu just came down as well. Uh, let's see what he opts to do here. It's Rangaroo's ability to switch him out. Is he gonna use, you know, I would not use Tapu Kogo right off the back. Oh, Lysander Ly Ly Labs, so I don't even remember if we have escape skateboards up in here. Okay, yeah. Oh man, that's crazy. Okay, so to the Dan's on the bench. Could possibly mean some easy wins for us or easy knockouts, but I'd rather take out the threat here of this Pika Rom, actually, uh, since it does have the energy attachment onto it already, and it will give me three prizes. Uh, so if we're able to get a pretty busted hand next turn here with some uh, evolving, some energies on the board, we are, might be able to knock this uh, Pika Rom, which we are. In high chances of actually knocking it out this turn, as long as we can also get a switch, bump that stadium as well, possibly skateboard as well, switch into this uh, Persephone that we got going on here, guys. Uh, so it looks like he is going to dance with the Ancients for one energy onto the Dene. Wow, okay. Uh, for a free retreat, I'm assuming here. Okay, so we got a lot of crazy beast strings here. Uh, it's going to hurt to throw them away, but it's going to be okay. Okay, so first off, let's do this. Let's get this energy off of here. Let's grab our Naganado since we are going to get that energy back anyways. And before we do that, we are going to research before we sell a wish. Uh, there we go. So there's another nag right there. We got the escape board. We did not get... Did not get the switch that we needed. Uh, okay, so let's get some energy charged up here. <clears throat> That really hurts with what two? Uh, if we can get a welder off of this, let's go ahead and quick ball here. Yeah, we're gonna quick ball here. Uh, just to thin out the deck here. Sure, we're gonna grab a Jirachi. Put that on there just for fun. There is the Ultra Space. Now this is. Ah, uh, this is not good right here. Uh, because Ultra Space is going to be able to knock that Lysander's Lab out, which we're going to be able to retreat. But I think we are one energy short here of knockout. And we already attached for turn. If we welder, we'll have enough energies, but then we're going to have to draw into, you know, into this Ultra Space or either something else to bump that out. Uh, so let's, let's risk it here. Uh, the worst thing you can do is take out prize. And at least we'll be set up for next turn here, guys. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> we already professor researched. All right, so there's the misplay that I told you. It's been it's been a while since I played, guys. So don't judge too harshly. Okay, so we're just gonna pass on over since we uh, did a bad misplay here. Yeah, we could uh, 
the 230, which would have been 10 short off knockout here, uh, kind of slows us down. But at least we have a Welder for next turn. If he opts to take this knockout here, it's only going to be a Jirachi. But he is going to be able to set up that uh, Raichu up in the back. Like I said, uh, Justin's been having second turn wasn't that great either. So we're going to see if third turn is going to be a lot better for him to get this going, guys. Energy switch would be amazing here. He's still got a Rangaroo's ability to switch the top deck. And he did throw away, I believe, yeah, last last turn he threw away two. So that might be the only two that he has in his deck, actually, uh, for the energy switch. <clears throat> yeah, he knows that if he does not get a knockout here, next turn I can get a knockout. As long as we can get something to bump this uh, stadium out of the way. Now, this is really good because uh, Lysa Andrews Lab actually puts a lot of work in because of all the Jirachis that are using a skateboard. You know, everybody's using them. Almost every deck has Jirachis with skateboards, so last Andrew Labs, you know, just that one turn, just like you saw, it really puts a hurt on you guys, along with the app saw. But I believe the last Andrew's Lab, just to be able to use it to bump other labs or other stadiums is really good as well. Let's see, ops to grab development, grab some more cards. Let's see, ops. We're gonna have enough uh, next turn. If he chooses to knock out this Jirachi, it will help us to promote this. Uh, be less things to search out. It looks like he's just going to switch into that Jirachi, or yeah, Jirachi instead of Wish. <clears throat> that kind of changes plans here. Another switch, okay. Alright, passes on over. Okay, so definitely did not want to take out this Jirachi. We definitely have the Weller action going on here. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and set a Wish. He is going to be able to knock us out next turn, so let's just grab that beast ring. If we're able to promote, I'm going to get these bad boys on there. Skateboard, nothing else. Okay, so let's go and evolve here. Uh, that way we can have some draw and also some snipe. Oh, no, no, no more snipe because we used the uh, 15 energy there. Yeah, so let's go ahead and use it for draw. We don't need three Persephone's here right off the back. We got one prize, I believe. Okay, awesome. So there is the Ultra Space. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and get our last Noggin' out here, guys. We still have not attached for turn, so let's do that, actually. Let's attach for turn just here. Retreat. Ah, man, this is not cool right here. Uh, let's retreat into this one since he does not have a beast energy anymore. Okay, so let's just what? We were, I don't know if we want to kill it. Uh, yeah, because it gives him an option search, so we're just mind blown here. Let's just do it off here for one, which we hit, hit for weakness, knock out here. And that way, if he comes about and gets us to Persephone knocked out, uh, we have beast ring, uh, which would help. To hit those numbers as well, another ultra space to bump out any li other Lysander's lab that he has. We also have some draw power with this Naga Nato to be able to uh, discard with the ability as well. Uh, so we got two Wellers, two Wellers left in deck. Okay, so there is that energy finally that he needed. So we are going to see a full blitz here onto either Raichu or second Picarom here. Uh, does he have one Electro Power? With one Electro Power, he is going to be able to get this knockout. And, and he definitely wants to get a clean knockout here. Or either he just GX for the clean knockout here. Okay, reset stamp. Okay, it's not going to hurt us that bad. Uh, actually, no, not at all. Okay, so we still got a Beast Ring. Some energy is Quick Ball. Uh, means to search out things. <clears throat> Along with Ultra Space too. So we're able to use Ultra Space to get our other Naganado out again. And be able to use it for the uh, draw engine that this Naganado provides here, guys. Okay, so it looks like he double custom catcher out uh, Naganado. Opted not to knock out the Persephone, which was a great play for him. Uh, that way it doesn't put me in Beast Ring turn. And it forces me to get two more energies in play. Or at least one to get a clean knockout on this. So with the Lysander's Labs out of the way, we are going to grab Jirachi here. Help us dig in a little bit more here, guys. So let's ultra. Let's get that bad boy out. Hmm. Oh, we'll have to charge up here since we got enough energies. Actually, uh, we got what 280 on the board right now. 
with beast energy go ahead and settle wish here oh yes we're gonna grab this welder right here perfect perfect and we'll just hang on to that welder uh just in case any shenanigans happens here sure we'll promote uh jirachi just in case we do get knocked down here we'll attach energy onto this jirachi that way he, if he takes out naga naga nato at least we got energies on the board and yeah we don't need a draw that's gonna be knockout uh we need 250 total yeah sure so let's retreat into this naga nato right here mind blown for Fifteen hundred. Oh, no, we still have to get rid of it. All right, that's okay. I guess I could have just gotten rid of the uh, beast energy, and that would have been plenty. Uh, but that's okay. That's another misplay that I made. It gets us closer to this, and now he is gonna be forced to put us in beast ring turn. Uh, we have a lot of draw engine right here. We still have another beast ring on deck as well. Yeah, and plenty of energy left in the deck as well. Since we only got one, we use what? Yeah, so yeah, he definitely is gonna dig in some what, custom catcher. Okay, yeah, definitely. That's definitely gonna help him a lot to get fresh in here. He's got the Picarom already loaded up here. Uh, Would have been cool if he got. You know, three more energy cells than that for the attack bolt effect here. Or three prize. It's a recess stamp. It's gonna hurt us here. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's right. The new Pika Round plays the the multiple recess stamps here. Okay, so we still got a beast ring, which is not gonna help us tremendously because of the all oh, the energy requirement here. If he takes this knockout on this uh Pacephalon, it's definitely gonna hurt because that's requiring us to get a welder, a beast ring. It's a lot of attachments we need. Uh, the other thing that we got going on for us is that we have Jirachi along with Ultra Space to be able to dig in for an Ultra Beast, you know. So we have we have means to dig into the deck a little bit more here, uh, but it is going to hurt us. And that's assuming if he gets this knockout, or he might choose to pass on over now. He is going to go get go ahead and get it with full blitz here and charge up the uh, bench, uh, right shoe. Full blitz here, guys. Right. Yeah, that was a good play from Justin here. I just can't believe I chose the wrong K-pop. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played, so <laughs> mistakes are being made here, guys. Alright, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and grab this bad boy out of there before we start a wish. Uh, let's charge up. We're gonna be able to. I mean, we got Beast Ring. We're able to get some energies here. If we can get this knockout, it's game for us. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and draw into it first. Let's see what we get. Which more energies? Uh, getting those energies not so good right now. We should have Beast Ring first. Okay, so we got two energies left. Attach them there. We'll still a wish. Did we get a Waller? No, we did not. Uh, Mysterious Treasure, Great Catcher. Sure, let's get Great Catcher out. Yeah, we'll have enough. Okay, so yeah, we got enough for game here, guys. Uh, so we'll attach here, right? And then we'll Great Catcher up. This bad boy right here. Oh, oh man, forgot you had to have done on these things. And then we'll retreat into this bad boy and get a free clean right here. Well played, Justin. Okay, so with the uh, the Denny's on the bench is what got Justin here. If not, uh, would not have been able to uh, get that one here. And like I said, a lot of misplays were made. Uh, he was not able to start off very good off the beginning either. Okay, so we're going to go into game two. Let's see. So weird, I can't find my... Okay, there it is. Okay, so we'll do... I think we have to play with They gotta be so difficult here. Okay, so baby K pops. Oh 
is the actual one at the moment? Too many of them. Okay, so we're gonna do this one. Okay, so yeah, Justin definitely wants to get going here and get some crazy good starts right here. Uh, if he chooses to go second, it would be great because he'll be able to. Oh, yeah, he lost, so we're gonna make it. He lost the coin flip, so yeah, there we go. He gets to choose regardless. If we go second, he's able to use the Dana, he's able to use supporter, uh, which will slow us down. We only get to actually manually attach up to the beginning, which it looks like he did choose for us to go first. Uh, Peace Bringer, that would be good if we had a better hand here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah, this hand's not too good. And I couldn't remember which one was regular Cephalon either. Okay, so we are up and we go first. Uh, sure, we're gonna have to get him out. Alrighty then, so bring out this bad boy. Uh, he's got the Danny start, so it's not something that he wants to see either. Uh, we don't want to attach yet, just in case we draw into Welder. We did not, but that's okay. Fire Flint to thin out the deck. Get some energies going right here, guys. Okay, so let's get rid of this and this. Yeah, plenty of energy retrieval in this deck. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Attach for turn. You know what? Uh, he, I don't see him getting a knockout. This is going to require two Castle Catchers, a lot of stuff. So I think we might be on the safe side just in case he recess them to us. Okay, so we'll do that. <clears throat> Okay, so Justin wants to get going here. He definitely wants a Jirachi Picaram. Got some energies going. He's got two already, so Tapu Koko can be used this turn as well to get those energies loaded. Uh, so, I mean, if he gets a good hand right here going, we might see a potential full t full blitz on the first turn. Okay, so opt in for Picaram. Raichu. Uh, he must have a Professor's Research in hand as well, either another the Dene. If he didn't get it, did he? Nope, not okay. I guess he can bump in for a quick ball to get another Dene out as well, with, along with an energy for attachment for Tony. Okay, so there it is. So, if another Dene in hand, quick ball for it, did Dene. Draw into some more cards. He's already played a supporter. Okay, so with the uh, Beast Springer here, guys, uh, we're able to get an additional prize as long as we're at six prizes remaining. And within Baby Pocephalon, it's pretty easy to get these big knockouts right here, guys. Uh, the problem is just setting up, and by the looks of it, we are not set up properly here. Justin is going to price just theme rollers over here. Yeah, it's crazy how uh, Big Pocephalon is still playable, still valuable in this uh, meta, which is really fun to play, actually, because it's consistent with uh, Professor's Research and all the good cards that it got. You're able to just use it to its full effect still. Uh, sure, it can get knocked out pretty easily, I'm not going to lie there. Okay, so we fired Flint to thin up the deck, so this Stellar Wish could hit us, or at least give us something good here. Mm, yeah, okay, let's grab this quick ball here. Yeah. Okay, so a little quick ball way, throw that away. Energy says you got one in there. That would, okay, so good thing we have new in there. We don't need it just yet. Looks like we might get Sacy now since he's got two card hand over there. Do that for Interpret Sword. Patch for turn again, and we're just gonna draw some cards and pass on over. Ah, uh, there it is, a welder. Okay, this is gonna be great. And another Pacephalon to get the bench going again. Uh, so the downfall, I mean, he could custom catcher out this Sacian here and get a uh, two price knockout here. Uh, but the thing is, he's gonna need two Electro Powers if he uses Full Blitz, and then just, of course, one if he uses the Tag Bolt GX here. Uh, so. Attach the energy, manually retreat it into a Jirachi, hoping to get a supporter, actually, a Professor's Research, or either a Volkner here would help a lot for him. 
Uh, Volkner, especially since he can get an item card out. Okay, so it's a quick ball. I wonder if he's got another Dene in the deck. Help him get out of this hand here. Yeah, it's crazy uh, seeing Sacian in this. I'm not even. I don't. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing this correct. Sacian, Sacian B. However you pronounce it. How people are running it in this deck, and it works out because you know for situations where you're stuck like this. Oh man, bystander slap, of course. Okay, in situations you're stuck like this, you know at least you'll have some draw power here. Okay, so with the deck in and out as much as possible, we only have one stadium, which is Heat Factory. Uh, so this pesky Lysander's Lab really bothers us. Uh, this bad boy could get us a knockout, right? 160, how much life? Yeah, it could get us a Dede knockout. Turn. Okay, so yeah. Let's see how, how we do here. Like I said, it's been a while since we played Switch. Oh man, yeah sure, let's grab a switch because if we get a skateboard off this welder, we're not going to be able to retreat it, so we need that switch, uh, just in case, correct? Uh, so we'll, yeah, we'll grab this Pestephalon, load it, drop that bad boy down, hmm, that means Beast Springer is not active actually. Just to make sure, just in case he recess tampos, you know, at least we have it on there. I'm not sure if we want to bring this guy out just yet. Actually, we don't. What can we do to get a knockout here? We can attach for turn and start pinging some damage, but we don't want our Mew to be knocked out either. It's very important to us. I think we might just have to... Do we really want to get a Silver Wish knockout here? Yeah, we... Yeah, because if this is not a supporter for his next turn, no, Jirachi is the only thing he's got. Sure, okay, so we'll play, we'll play this. Um, in hopes of preventing from that happening, right? So Fireball Circus for one energy, uh, for Weakness Knockout here. And hopefully he does not top deck anything too good. Crystal's really good for us, actually. Since we got six energies in there. Uh, so definitely will help us in the next turn, especially since uh, Big Daddy Pika Realm's coming up. There is that top deck Volkner. Alright, so with an energy and quick ball to get him out of this situation. Like I said, I don't think he's got the other Dene in deck. It must be prize. If not, we would have seen it last turn as well. Recess stamp. Okay, so there is that recess stamp that we were talking about. Uh, good thing we got rid of some cards. Uh, all these cards are going to be used. Throughout the game, actually, are going to be seeing a full blitz here, which does hurt here. Three injuries gone, but he's only take one price, and he opt to not recess them, so that helps us actually a lot because we are going to be able to get this knockout. And he's loading up that right you up, yeah. Okay, so this pesky Lysander's lab really does bother us here. And you know, let's let's what I was talking about last game. It's just it's that annoying with that Lysander's lab. Man, it's crazy. It's just crazy good how it prevents you from getting knockouts. Okay, so we might not have enough actually. I might have done the math wrong here, guys. Yeah, because it's only gonna be Yeah, I think we might have misplayed here. Yeah, I needed one more energy. One more energy for a clean knockout here, guys. Uh, with B Springer not being able to be used. Actually, it wouldn't even matter right now either. So do we hit into it? I think we are going to have to hit into it. Or we could actually manually retreat. So that way we don't lose a Persephone with... Well, regardless, we lose it. Okay. Yeah, well, he's only taking one prize at the moment. It's, man, this is a hard choice. Either interpret Sir the Grind to more cards. He's got reset, so yeah, we might as well might as well hit into this peak around here. It's not gonna be a knockout, sadly. One energy short uh, for a clean knockout, but at least it is damage. And we are closer to knocking it out. You know, one single energy get to knock out here. Camerant or Camerant. 
that spit shot. Like I said, I haven't played this deck yet. I just kind of copy and paste and put it together. This card our energy is from this Pokemon. This attack does 160 to 20 your opponent's Pokemon. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, so we are definitely going to be able to get it. a knockout on the Dene if need be for the last two prizes. Uh, so another knockout right here. This is bad. Okay, so yeah, let's promote. Set a wish up there. Or Corio. Sure. Yeah, so let's say only wish here. Hmm. Lucky egg would be awesome if that Hirachi did not have skateboard on it. The venture bag, we don't need it no longer. We don't need quick ball either. Fire flip. I think we got almost all our fire energies out. Not good guys. Not good at all. Oh right. So let's see what we're gonna get. So we'll attach. Yeah, we'll attach there. Uh just in case it gets knockout. We're gonna get Oricolio down. We're gonna draw into two cards here. Ah, look at that. That would have been great to have the other. Okay, so we're just gonna thin out the deck here. Let's grab these out of the way. Tribute. Oh, I forgot that. Could have done that off the beginning. So, do we want to slow him down? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Absolutely. Now, how do we do it? We can either great catcher, thin out our hand, and custom catcher again to draw into cards. But I don't think at this point it matters. So, we're just going to. You know what? Yeah, I think we'll do that. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of that. Just kind of slow him down for a turn. I know it's just one energy attachment, but. You know, it's better than nothing and we'll hang on to these custom catchers just in case you know that way we can bring that guy up then since we're not gonna do anything else we're gonna interpret start here and this is crazy you know with this deck so much draw power you know the the bad thing is just setting up that's the bad thing is being able to set up you know you're only playing four supporters here the welders we have already used one only so i mean we out of 12 cards in our deck left i believe everything else is in the uh prizes for us which is going to be really bad we got 11 energies one in hand so that means we only got three left i haven't used pal pad we got a few fire crystals as well okay let's see what's going on here oh he was trying to uh pokemon catcher over here so hopefully we did stall him out this last time life was very pesky no we did not okay so he's gonna be able to get another prize here with a full hp right you So we could just do the one damage. Oh, actually, no, we're gonna need more than that. All right, so let's promote. I'm not gonna have enough for this Persephone. Yeah, so we'll do this. Fine. Okay, that actually helps a lot. Uh, with. Okay, so let's do this. We need some fire crystals. Okay, so there is one that we might not have a welder either. Let's go ahead and bump that out of the way. Put this bad boy back. We're gonna quick ball away this Jirachi. The two energies, welder switch. Sure. Wrap this Persephone all the way. Hmm. Question is, do we knock out a fool? Because I mean, with yeah, okay. So let's do this. That's gonna go. Ways to draw into cards, so we'll throw that away. Those two energies out. We're about to deck ourselves out here, guys. Which I don't see that being optimal here, but we're just gonna play it out. Like I said, I have not played this deck, and I can see where a lot of the problems are. Pretty stellar. So let's use Seed Factory to draw into a Weller. Finally, okay, Weller. 
If we're drawn to... Yeah, we're gonna deck ourselves out. Not cool. <laughs> not cool here, guys. Uh, 30 damage is not enough for a knockout there. We have Welder to attach there, but we're gonna draw into cards that we don't want. You know what? It's for fun games, right? Since we are gonna deck ourselves out here anyways. Uh, let's do that. Hmm, attach for turn, and sure, we'll custom catcher up that. We got another fire crystal going. Might as well get some energy to show off a little bit. Uh, if we had a few more cards in our deck, you know, it would have been awesome. Let's retreat into that. Then, Flyball Circus. Four hundred damage. Now he wins this game because of not drawing at all. <laughs> For our next turn, we have zero cards to draw into, uh, which kind of stinks, but it's okay. Like I say, we're learning. We're learning the deck. Pocephalon seems pretty fun, actually. I'm not gonna lie, baby. Pocephalon, both Pocephalons, actually. Uh, well, there was two Wellers switches, so we had a lot of good stuff in our prizes. Uh, but unfortunately, he is gonna win because of not drawing into anything. And I think if we would have had another turn, we could have possibly cleaned the house here out. I mean, with another how many percent points we had, we had another one left in the deck. Uh, but no, no means of getting energies back. I mean, we did over, overdo it there just to show off uh, the potential of Persephone here. Maybe he does not realize that he wins over here. Or maybe he's just showing off as well. Okay, so energy switch. What's he trying to do here? Oh, he's trying to get the uh, extra damage here. Oh, I see what he's doing. Okay, awesome. Yeah, really cool play. Real cool play. Two prizes for him. Switches out. Man, the hit and run attack right there too. Cool. No matter. Let's see. Sure, why not? Right. I guess it, I guess it just glitches, but it did not. All right, so that was game two, just an end beginning. So now we are one to one here, guys. We're gonna go into game three for you. Let's see what we got going on. My baby K pops. Okay, since I can't figure out which one is the original Persephone, since I forgot. Okay, so this time we get to choose. Yeah, we definitely want to go second. Let me message him real quick. Tells for us to go first. All right, so it's a little too late. So let's let's get this going. All right, so uh, we got away the draw. We got Ori Corio just in case we get knocked out. Sure, let's do it. Okay, so we're going first. No supporter for us. Uh, yeah, so we're going first. He messed up and. Did not let us choose, Justin. Okay, yeah, so sure, let's get the fire flame going out of the way. Let's make sure not to deck ourselves out. What do we want to get rid of? Oh man, all these cards are good right now. All of them are good. The energy retreat though, because the skateboard and switch are really useful during this match here, especially since there is no ice and slaps down at the moment. Hmm. So we'll touch for here. The thing is, do we want to? Yeah, we do. I mean it's gonna stink if he gets the uh, Lysander Slab, but hey, there we go. We got the Sacian, at least we can use the Turpus Sword to draw into some cards and get out of this shenanigans here. Oh, awesome Lucky Egg as well. Another thing is, do I want to attach Lucky Egg onto the Persephone to draw into some more cards? No, not really, because I already have a lot of cards on what the Interpret Sword anyway, so we'll just, yeah, we'll put that over here. Where you attach for turn. Yeah. Okay. Turpins are drawn to some cards. Awesome. So we still need a welder. We did get a quick ball. We have a switch and a skateboard to be able to get a Jirachi out uh, to help us. Uh, if he does take this knockout on this Pacephalon, uh, we are going to be able to use the dance tribute here. And there is the heat factory. Well, at least it did its job and got us there. We do have a switch in hand. The skateboard's not going to be an option anymore throughout this game because we only had one. Uh, stadium 
So maybe adding a second stadium, like Giant Hearth. I mean, you're running already four Fire Flints. Can't run Power Plant because you're reliant on abilities as well. I wonder what else we could run. I mean, Giant Heart would be probably the best choice. <clears throat> okay, so Justin is off to the races. Uh, it wouldn't even matter if we went first, actually, because we didn't have a supporter either. Uh, so he's off to the races. We gotta keep count of our cards here. Make sure we don't deck out again. Uh, this deck actually draws a lot and it's pretty fast, especially with the thin and out of the deck with the fire flints here, guys. It's crazy fast. You got Oricorio, you got Saceon, you got some lucky egg action going on. Uh, so a lot of ways to get some cards into your hand. Ooh, okay, not a wonderful start either from Justin here. Uh, let's see if we can take advantage of this, actually. Uh, there is a Jirachi, so we did not have to use... A quick ball for that so we could potentially use it for something else and I think we are actually we are going to hmm yeah this is not an okay hand here for us guys uh, so we're definitely going to fish out uh, since the skateboard is not gonna be used let's go ahead and toss that out yeah we definitely want a second Persephone I can see this one being knocked out we're gonna go ahead and attach for turn just in case we get a welder. That's one less energy to attach. Hmm. Energy retrieval, which we don't need at the moment. We wanna hang on to that. Uh, just in case it resets to themselves, we are gonna put this beast springer there because I'm pretty sure this is gonna get knocked out. If not, we do have a switch to be able to use the full effect of it. And get ahead of the prizes here. So, interpret it it is. Uh, two energies, custom catcher. Not good, but hey, at least it. Thins out the deck. If we draw into another custom catcher, it'd be cool. But we also need a welder. A welder and some energies. So we are stuck like Chuck right now. The Lysander Labs putting a lot of work in for Justin. So let's see what Justin grabs out, out of this Volkner here. <clears throat> Quick ball energy. this game up. I just saw the time. <laughs> About 20 minutes. All right, Mr. Justin, let's see what you got going on now. Does he have energies? Yeah, he's got two. Okay, so Tapu Koko is going to put some work in. We're going to get, if he's got a switch, we're going to see a full blitz going on here. Uh, this turn, actually, which is going to be really good for Justin. Uh, he's going to get loaded up. Thankfully, we have Mew out, uh, just in case. You know, he's not going to put all the energies onto one Pika Rom anymore, uh, especially since Persephone, out of nowhere, can get the knockouts pretty easily, given the right cards, uh, you know, with the right combination. Does he have the switch? Electro Power, he must have it if he's playing, or maybe he's thinning out there. What's he doing here? Oh, did he have two Custom Catchers? No, okay. Crazy, I was about to, I was about to say. Wow, okay, so we got another energy here. Ah, what shenanigans is this? Do we switch? Yeah, let's switch. Let's see if this Jirachi here can help us out here, guys. I know we're gonna be stuck here, but that's all right. Look at that. We ended up getting the welder, uh, possibly getting another switch, and a custom catcher would be awesome too, right? Uh, Beast Springer. So yeah, we're gonna put it onto the Beast Springer one, uh, just in case we can get this knockout here. Uh, we can take three prizes off this Dene, or either four prizes off one of these bad boys. Okay, so we did not did not draw into a switch that we needed. We are gonna attach for turn, just in case one of our bad boys gets knocked out here. What else can we do? We don't want to fire crystal just yet. We want to hang on to that. So it looks like we are just gonna interpret over here. Nice, so we got the second custom catcher uh, just in case it gets knocked out, which is okay because if he gets ahead of the prizes uh, with this Pika Rom, I'm assuming he's gonna use this Pika Rom if he's able to get it up this turn uh, to take this knockout here, load up another Pokemon, 
and we're gonna be able to bring up this Bicephalon with the Beast Bringer on it and get four prizes with this custom catcher or actually not even custom catcher you know depending on who brings it up now this is if if he doesn't recess stamp us if he recess stamp us then we have to work all the way again and of course we still need some energies which we only have two so that'd be 150 and we need some energies going on so fire flame would be awesome so we are going to see this knockout here uh that means we are going to get to use oricorio's dance of the tribute here guys uh too bad we didn't have a lucky egg well actually lucky egg wouldn't have helped in that situation there Okay, so awesome. So I'm assuming he's gonna put those energies onto the right shoe. Oh, it's the second Pikachu Sacrum. All right. Yeah, because it's clean knockouts. He's, you know, that way he's not forced to switch out, switch in. All right. So let's see if we can get a knockout here. Oh, B Springer's not gonna work because Life Center's lap. My goodness. Man, that's stinking card. Okay, so we did get a Weller. It's not cool because, yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, let's do this. Got a lot of cool cards here. I think we'll just weather for one. This, draw some cards here, guys. What do we get? We still did not get enough enemies. Yeah, we don't have enough. We wanted the fire crystal. This is not cool. We don't even have enough for the Dene. Yeah, so we could force him into let's retreat card on this bad boy two two we only got three cards so we could custom catcher let's custom catcher up man <laughs> i didn't get to i haven't played in a while okay so let's cut let's custom catcher this guy up knock it out but I mean we kind of do want to get ahead of the prizes uh, he's already used a lot of energies he's gonna need energy switches to get going so I think we can switch into this new and let's spread some damage while we're at it right I mean we could have we could interpret sword but I feel like oh well, I man I guess we could have switched it through a Jirachi's actually we still can let's do that misplays misplays and I think we're out of There's the five flint. I think we've used all our switches here. Yeah, we have. Okay, so we're gonna rely on him taking this knockout here. Hmm. Okay, so we don't want to fire flint this turn. Uh, we kind of stalled him out, so we're just gonna use this opportunity to draw into some cards, which is great. We only got ten cards left. Wow. Okay, so that was fast. This this deck really burns through his resources pretty fast here, guys. Let's see what we got going on here. Crazy how fast this deck just goes through cards. Uh, we do have Palpad. What's he doing over here? Well, oh, yeah. we'll grab switch. Yep. Yeah. That's okay, because next turn we're going to be able to take a knockout on a Picaron. And the good thing is that we have two Pacephalons loaded, so, you know, it's a very dangerous game for him. Uh, with fire crystals in our hands, we got fire, fire flint. You know, we got a lot of options here, guys. And then we we also have two fully loaded Pocephalons, so he can't take out both because we have the new out. Uh, so it does put him in a tight situation here. And if he does not switch, we are going to be able to get ahead of prizes because of the uh, great catcher that we have in our hand. <clears throat> to take out one of those pesky Picarons, but it looks like he is going to switch. I yeah, know, full blitz. Okay. That's the cool thing about this deck, you know, we are able to lose some prizes and still catch up here. As long as he doesn't get custom catchers and bring up one of our GXs here. Good. Yeah, I know he's scared right now. Okay, so let's get this guy out. Uh, Jirachi did help us out. Another Fire Flint. We got nine cards. Hopefully we got some energies in there. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get rid of that and Quick Ball. Okay, so two energies. Ah, oh, man. Two energies, really? <laughs> it's not even enough, uh, so it looks like we are going to have to take out... Oh, this is rough, guys. Just, just plain rough. Uh, this one energy that... This energy on this um, new cost is here, guys. Oh, my bad. Oh, do we want to draw, though? No, we don't. 
Yeah, we don't want to draw because it's going to do this out here. Okay, so let's put some cards back in our hand. Let's put those back. Yeah, let's create catcher. At least we can knock out. We don't need another fire flint. We can get rid of one Pacephalon. At least we can knock out one of these Dedenes uh, this turn. And then we have fire crystals to get them back. Yeah, so let's let, at least get some prizes going here, guys, and get some cards from the prize support here. So four energy is required to get this bad boy knocked out. Bring us back even on the prize trade. We definitely wanted to take the knockout. How many cards we wanted? We wanted, we wanted energies. Yeah, we definitely wanted to get the knockout on the uh, Pikachu Sekrum here. So that means we are gonna have to use a third Persephone to get some knockouts, or potentially not really actually. If we if we get a knockout here, uh, next turn we can promote Persephone on just GX for game actually. So I think that's what we'll hold on to. We'll hold on to that boy boy, or bad boy. Ooh, quick ball away. Yeah, he doesn't need it. My sand Labs has put more work in than anything. And I wonder if all the near decks or all the updated decks are gonna be running this guy sand Labs. It's very, very pesky. So good job to Justin for adding it, or I don't know if he copy pasted it, but it's, it's helping him a lot. <clears throat> like I said, every every deck's running those Jirachic skateboard combos. Oh, so he's going to force me to... Yeah, find more energies. Yeah! That's not fun. Let me see. Oh, that's... Yeah, it's not gonna be good, guys. Um, here, just again here. Four seven. Yeah, we're not gonna have enough. Actually, we might. I'm trying to make sure we have enough for uh, Persephone GX. You know, we just need one energy for the GX here, and we can win the game. Uh, so we're definitely gonna take this knockout here. We are gonna have those three energies going to the discard pile, so that's gonna put us up seven. Yeah, we're gonna use this bad boy. Yeah, we're, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this knockout. Hopefully, he did not get a. Well, it doesn't even matter if he got a custom catcher actually either. Uh, so we don't want to draw into any more cards. So we're just gonna go ahead and use these fire crystals. I think uh, we should hang on to the other. Definitely want to get rid of some cards just in case he recess them since here. So let's do quick ball away. Watchy. Nothing. Hmm. So it's gonna cost us what? Six energies total. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're gonna hang on to this fire crystal. Uh, to that welder. We are gonna place another Persephone down just to throw him off. And that's also one last card just in case we get recess stamped. That's uh, so, okay. Fireball Circus here, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, my bad. Six. Yeah, so we're going to need all of them here for the 300 damage for a knockout. So hopefully, after three prizes, we can get some good cards. Uh, you know, that way, he, if he does recess to Ampos. Okay, so that's another extra energy in the deck. Another extra energy in the deck. And another energy in the deck. Wonderful. So a lot of possibilities to draw into energies. Hopefully. Uh, because all we need... You know, I guess I could have put the Persephone down, but I feel like that would have been a target because knowing that the GX gets me a guaranteed win here. <clears throat> Markets. Yeah, there's a lot of options here. So, is he going for a double custom play here? Because even if he takes out Tacyon or either Ori Corio, it's still not game for him since three prizes still remaining. Yeah, if he, I mean, if we could have been able to use full blitz, this would have been a great turn. Oh man, there's that recess stamp. So we're going to be recess stamp to one. If he gets a knockout, we got Ori Cory to draw into some cards. Uh, yeah, this is, yeah, this recess stamp is going to hurt. We try to play as much cards as we can down. All we need is to get Persephalon and Energy. Well, we have a way to get Persephalon, which is great. And then Ori Cory should help us with that, along with the top deck that we're going to have. So let's see if we can win this game out. Uh, with the uh, Persephalon GX here, guys. And we'll promote Mew since we have the energy. So, I mean, the energy attachment came in handy. It hurt us earlier, but it came in handy. Okay, so let's grab 
some cards off to the stanch of tribute. We got it here, guys. Yep, we do. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and throw that card away. Get that Persephone out. Yeah, buddy. We're gonna retreat. And we're gonna use that cheese GX move here to get the game, guys. All right, so that was it, guys. Uh, round three for us for our online uh, team tournament that we got going on here, guys. That was the first round. Uh, we're gonna be posting these weekly since it, it takes us a week to, you know, do a match for each. It gives everybody the chance to communicate with their opponent, be able to set up a time, and you know, just take your time and play it out, guys. And every time that I play, I'm gonna be able to record it and post it for you guys. So, Justin, good job on your Pika Rome list. Uh, very, very annoying. Licensed Lab, uh, real good job on that one, guys. All right, guys. So, like I said, like I mentioned earlier in the video, we do have some events coming up: the uh, Team Mercy and Circuit Series on March 21st, and also on the 20th. 20th is the VGC, and then on 21st is the Trading Card Game along with the Cup. So it's a Cup and a also a cash payout guaranteed on first place. Uh, we do have announcements on Facebook. You know, if you go onto our page, Team Mercy, on Facebook, you'll be able to keep up with all the daily things that we do or your know, weekly things that we do as well, and all our major events for our stream circuit series that we like to pay out cash prizes all right guys till next time you'll stay tuned